everybody, it's Michael and Amanda, I don't know why I did it like that, Pittman. Uh, <laughs> and today we're going to talk about how do we know we were ready to get married. How did you know, babe? I knew we were ready for marriage because we had talked about it a lot. A lot. We talked about it before we're dating, and while we're dating, we talked about what we thought about kids. We talked about what we thought about alcohol in the home. We, we, we talked about all the major conversations that we need to have. We came to a consensus on a lot of them. So after having so many conversations about it, we had the same mindset when it came to getting married and getting married at a young age. For me, one of the things was that she checked out with the parents, you know? I, family is huge. And whenever you marry a person, you don't just marry them, but you also marry their family as well. The fact that I got along with her family, great. She got along with my family, great. It just worked. Uh, it just clicked. And I was really, really pleased with the way that the, her and my family interacted with one another. I knew what, that we were ready for marriage um, because I had seen us in conflict. I knew that we would be resilient after conflict. Um, I knew that we had um, a, a great approach when it came to getting through the conflict. I had seen us not get through conflict well and I had seen us learn and apply the things that we could have done better. So I saw growth in the relationship. I saw spiritual growth, emotional growth, just overall maturity growth and I grew from the relationship. Um, so seeing that in conflict and, and seeing all of that happen made me feel comfortable knowing in marriage this is going to be a progressive thing that's going to continue. Grow. Also, for me, I knew that financially we could do it. There's not a specific number, there's not a specific ratio or percentage or anything like that. I just knew, well, with this and with that together, we can make it work. You know, are we going out to eat at Houston's and driving in a Benz? No, but we are doing well now and we're married. And I like and it. God is faithful. And, and God is provides. in crazy ways. In crazy ways. Um, He's a good God. He is. He is. And so I like that. Uh, what are some other things? I knew we were ready for marriage because after being in a relationship with him for nine to ten months, um, not only did he get along with my family with flying colors, um, but he also passed the test with all my friends. Um, and I didn't see any red flags in him. I never caught like a, some pornography addiction. I know some of those things can be hidden even in marriage, so I, I wouldn't be so naive as to think that um, that wouldn't be hidden. But um, we just we were so transparent with each other. Um, so I, you know, we knew all of each other's secrets. You know, we didn't keep anything from each other. We knew everything about our past, and we had goals for the future, and those goals were intertwined. And, you know, we, we just started um, around month eight or so, we started making these videos and we knew at that point, hey, this is a huge part of the purpose of the reason why we're together. And I knew if by some crazy chance we broke up or something like that, that would all shatter into pieces. And I knew that that wasn't what God had for us. I, I knew that God had um, the plan for us to be an example of a young marriage that persists and, and, and that rests on his faithfulness. I knew that we we're going to share parts of our lives with others and, and minister to others and in relationships at that point. Our purpose being intertwined just made it that much more legit and made me feel that much more comfortable um, with the decision to get married. Your marriage and your relationship is bigger than you are. Yeah. Yeah, everything is, is for God's glory. And so if I wouldn't have seen that, then I don't think we would have made it uh, yeah. because we went through, we go through ups and downs all the time, but we know there's a bigger purpose. Yeah. And I think that recognizing that and understanding that uh, makes marriage not about you. And whenever you can make your marriage about, not a, God. about God and not about you, I mean, you're on a one way street to Absolutely. success. So, yeah. you have anything else? That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's hopefully that helped. Um, gives you a glimpse of what we went through in, in our story. And if you have any other questions, leave uh, comments. Uh, stay nice, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys. See you later. Bye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, four
ready. Let's go. Let's go. Bang, bang. You look so fine. God. Oh. Um, three, two, one.